Dalian, a place located in the province of Mula, a place away from the busy nature of the world, away from busy-minded people, secluded yet charming, with beaches unlike others, with nature captivating you at each step. Come explore this gem with me. Kargajat Koyu, which is located in Ortaja Dalian, is the most uniquely distinguished beach I have ever been to. Make sure to get a taxi to drive you there, as you will have to meander your way through narrow roads built within a mountain. However, once you get there, the beach with dark sand complements the color of the mountains surrounding it. And the sea is a photographer's dream as it appears between two mountains with perfect symmetry. Our apartment was located in Ortaja and we booked this using Airbnb, which cost us 60 pounds or 1200 Turkish liras per night for three people. The apartment was outstanding with a pleasant room to sit and read indoors, as well as a swimming pool outside with hammocks in the garden and the most incredible view of the famous tomb of kings. The temple tombs, what we see today are the remnants of the Quanos necropolis that once had over 170 rock-cut graves. The tombs mostly date back to mid 4th century BC and have influences of Anatolian, Greek and Persian elements. These tombs, that is one of Dalian's top three attractions, was directly across the lake from where we would have our breakfast in the morning, some breakfast day. From this exact point, a boat comes every morning at 10 a.m. and it takes you to Istuza beach from there. So today I'm here at Istuzu Beach, which is based over here in Dalian and from our Airbnb apartment, we took a boat ride, which took about 45 minutes and it brought us all the way over here to Istuzu Beach. And what's great about this place is that it's surrounded by the lake. Then you have the beach itself and on the other side, you have the sea uh, to swim in. On the way here, you have 
incredible views that are just at an elite level and it only cost us about 60 Turkish Liras um, to get a return ticket to come over here so the air over here is so fresh <laughs> the ride over here is uh, just you know when you close your eyes and you just open your eyes again and you look at the surroundings that you're in you just can't put into words how, how beautiful this place is and I'm just so glad that I actually came over here one of the impressive things here is that when I watched um, a video on this place maybe over a year ago so when I was looking at the um, when I was looking at the footage I was actually thinking that this actually looks like one of those realistic games where you have to complete a mission because uh, from above and then obviously when you come over here and you see the color of the, the sea itself and then the lake that's over here and then you see the mountains that surround this area it just looks like um, you're on a mission over here to get some treasure In one word. Money. <laughs> <laughs> oh, that's oh, a good no, picture. It's a good picture for such. Oh. <sighs> we found the most amazing view from here, our viewpoint. It's a little bit of a walk up here, but oh, it looks absolutely mesmerizing from up here. I'm just trying to just move between the rocks and put the flowers around. As you get onto the beach, you turn left and uh, walk for an hour. And uh, the reason why you want to walk for an hour is because uh, right at the end, you're going to get to a place where uh, you'll find some turtles. So I'm interested to see um, how that looks like. Sea Turtle Research, Rescue and Rehabilitation Center was established in the year 2009. This center was set up for year-round activity to help educate the public about conservation efforts. Any injured turtles found along the Mediterranean coast of Turkey are brought to the center and are taken care of by providing them necessary medical treatment and rehabilitation. We certainly found it interesting.
like the video, subscribe to my channel Don Imran and hit that notification bell icon so that you are informed of my regular releases. Catch you in the next one.